They are exactly what they sound like, but better. Good morning. We arrived in Ljubljana yesterday and returned our car and got some groceries and now this morning we're ready to explore the city. We just have walked out of our apartment to a really strange sight though. Yeah, there was just a couple walking what looked like either an ostrich or an emu. I'm not sure the difference exactly. Like literally we walked out of our apartment, turned right and boom, there it was. It was really bizarre. Don't know what that's about, but welcome to Ljubljana. <laughs> Why did the ostrich cross the road? We don't know either. So we're actually going home here in a couple days. It's our last uh, city on this trip. So we're going to get our COVID test this morning. <laughs> it was cheaper than other countries we've been in uh, Greece and France. They were very thorough. <laughs> I mean, I would have said invasive. <laughs> I still feel it. I felt it in my eyeball. <laughs> oh God, I know way further back. It was like the back of my head, I think. <laughs> oh God. To be clear, we are not complaining about getting our swabs. It it's is, a minor inconvenience. It's not for everybody, but again, we are just really happy to do it in order to travel. Very small price to pay to keep those around us safe. Now we're headed back to the city center. Oh my, no, it still tickles. <laughs> uh, we saw that there was a market going on. So we are going to go check that out before it shuts in a couple of hours. As you know, we love a good market. Hydrangeas are beautiful. And uh, we have been eating some pretty rich, heavy Slovenian food for the past week, and we're ready for a little bit of a change, and Luliana is a perfect place for that. There's such a mix of cultures here, similar to what we experienced in Athens, and today for lunch, we're going Vietnamese. You would not believe how good this smells. I'm trying to pick out what it is. Some ginger, some garlic, soy sauce, sesame oil. I'm sure other things I'm not picking up, but it smells absolutely amazing. I'm so excited to eat this. Ooh, glass noodles. Mmm. It tastes as good as it smells. So this is a, a beef noodle salad, basically. Uh, it looks excellent. This place is delicious if you're Ljubljana. Two thumbs up. I mean, you can't see the other ones up. <laughs> Definitely recommended. So we've walked by this place a number of times. It's called Puffy Little Donuts or something. Puffy Little Pancakes. Puffy Little Pancakes. Yeah, so we're gonna try them. They kind of look like mini donuts, but we're not really sure. This will be fun. All the toppings are in Slovenian, so we have no idea what we'll be getting. Wow, that's a cool one. This is with the Kinder topping, which is a Nutella cream, and she recommended almonds with it, so that's what we went with. So let's see what puffy little pancakes taste like. <laughs> they are exactly what they sound like, but better. They're puffy little pancakes. They're little airy, puffy delights that melt in your mouth. They're delicious. Bill's gonna have to get his own. <laughs> We ate these in about 60 seconds. <laughs> Here goes the last one. Best four euros and 60 cents spent uh, in the last week or so.
Good morning. We are beginning today at Pleshnik House. This is the home of the locally famous architect, Jose Pleshnik. Pleshnik was hugely influential in the architecture of Ljubljana, so we're kind of curious to hear more about his life. They've kept his house and preserved it as a museum, and we're gonna go check it out and see what it's like. Columns and statuaries are found throughout Pluchenik's property, and these actually were prototypes for his various projects. And due to his frugal nature, he decided to reuse those prototypes within his house. I guess he was a little bit of a recycler. We just finished our tour and my head is filled with so much information about this famous architect. Uh, he was certainly a character and he kept to himself. His vices were smoking and Turkish coffee, but he did have a dog that he liked to play with, so I guess I love him. The tour was incredibly informative. If you come to Ljubljana, you have to do this tour so that you have a better understanding of the architecture that is so formative to Ljubljana and this architect who was such a character and gave so much of himself. He designed furniture that was not made for lingering so that he could encourage himself to continue his work on behalf of the city. This display in the museum is called Plechnik's Ljubljana and it's called that because he had an enormous impact on just how the city looks and all these white structures we see are buildings that he designed. Like this library. And this colonnade. And this bridge. And this bridge here. And this bridge, which has one, two, three side by side sections. And this main market building, which apparently I hold in the palm of my hand. And this obelisk honoring Napoleon. And this theater that we can't get into right now. Hey, here's a bridge he didn't design. In case you hadn't picked up on it, Plechnik is to Ljubljana like Gaudi is to Barcelona. He's the local architect. He did a lot here in this city. In addition to all the Plechnik stuff, there's some other really interesting architecture in this town. Uh, we think this is Art Nouveau and also over here. This is the Yugo before Yugo was Yugo. They gave me this extra fork because Bill's not gonna get any of this. No way. Oh my god. <laughs> so it's pistachio and bourbon vanilla with salted seeds, whatever that means. And pumpkin seed oil. And pumpkin seed oil, that's right. See, Bill got his own treat. I'm not mean. <laughs> You'll like the pistachio, it's unusually creamy. It's very good. The gelato is really, really good here. So far, Ljubljana seems to be a really vibrant, active town. 
We love the vibe here. Actually, most college towns, we seem to really enjoy just being around the youth who are going to school and learning, and they're just so much fun to soak up their atmosphere. And we feel that here in Ljubljana. It feels like a university town. Well, that's because it is. Uh, actually, we're looking at the university library right now <laughs> behind the camera. But um, yeah, and that, that vibe carries over. It, it's pervasive through the cafe and bar culture here. They're yeah, this, everywhere. They're everywhere and they're, they're often packed. And actually right where our apartment was, it was right in the middle of the action, which was tons of fun. If anything, we wish we had one more day. There were some museums we didn't have a chance to go into, uh, but it's always good to save something for next time. As we said earlier, this is really interesting. If you're coming to this part of Europe thinking you're gonna see drab communist era uh, cement apartment buildings, it's just not the place. I mean, look behind us. Um, so things are really interesting here. They're kind of funky, kind of a little bit quirky and that's and that's a ton of fun. We've really enjoyed it. As for Slovenia in general, this is really a charming country. It's won our hearts. If you love the outdoors, you love being with nature, this is a fantastic place for you. There's a little bit of something for everyone with the mountains and with the water and even with a large city like Ljubljana. It really has a lot to offer and it's a country that you should check out. Well, we just arrived at the airport. It is about 2.30 a.m. back home. Don't say that. What's the matter with you? What is the matter with you? It's only going to take us like 18 hours to get home this time. This should, 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 should. There you go. Stop. Okay, I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it. So that's it. We're at the airport. That's all I have to tell you right now. Uh,